In the Canadian market, you're seeing a sort of a continuation of further trends that we've seen before. Uh, you might see a little bit of recovery in the oil patch, but it's going to be quite spotty. Uh, the U.S. producers are producing a lot right now, and uh, the pipelines uh, are still stuck, not really getting their approvals, not getting constructed. So you're seeing that uh, depending on where the producers are producing, they're getting very low prices. So you have to pick your spots there. Uh, that said, though, with the U.S. economy, so robust in the U.S. exporting more of its oil. Uh, there should be a market for the Canadian energy. Other than that, uh, people are still worried about the uh, housing market, which is really a question about Vancouver and Toronto. There's talk in Vancouver about introducing a uh, non-residence tax, where if you're, own, if you're not a resident of the province and you have a, a property there that you're not living in, you pay an ongoing tax. So we'll see how that happens with that. Uh, if, it, if it works, uh, then you might see that introduced in Toronto as well. And if it doesn't, then I think it probably won't. Um, but mostly it's uh, continuing on with, uh, a bit, with the NAFTA negotiations being a bit of a drag. Uh, until that gets sorted out, I think a lot of companies are waiting to decide what sort of investments they're going to make. That said, the Canadian economy continues to be very robust and uh, was one of the fastest growing economies in the G7 last year. Well, it's interesting. I mean, we've actually got a higher than usual exposure to U.S. market with about 19% uh, of our portfolio invested in some stocks, which we mostly invested in um, a year to 18 months ago, and they've just grown very well. Uh, that said, the Canadian market actually is offering a little more value than the U.S. market, which tends to be very highly valued. Uh, I think part of that is uh, the tax reform, the the sense that the U.S. economy is finally really growing well. Uh, but on top of that, um, you've got, with a move to ETFs and sort of more and more passive investing, you're sort of getting a big uh, tailwind behind the, the large cap stocks. And so we're finding greater value in uh, companies that aren't quite on the same uh, headline as other places where they're fantastic investments, they're fantastic businesses, but you're not paying as much. I think the, the final thing to take away is that, you know, there are the worries about NAFTA and, the, and, uh, and the housing, but uh, the Canadian economy has actually remained very robust, and the Canadian market, because it's not so highly valued, uh, does offer uh, some diversification for uh, investors who are looking to uh, diversify outside of the United States. Uh, and the convenient thing about that is you're not going that far, uh, so it's, you, can, you can understand it fairly easily.